What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Tony. Let me tell you about three black women I'm almost certain you don't know. So starting off, let's talk about Miss Aunt Polly Jackson. Okay, Aunt Polly Jackson. First and foremost, she was a G, all right? She escaped slavery, but when escaping slavery, she had certain weapons that I think we can all kind of appreciate. She had a bottle of, not a bottle, I'm sorry. She had a pan of hot boiling water straight out the Medea movie and a cleaver. And she used these to escape slavery, fighting back the bounty hunters and the, and the people trying to take her back to, into slavery. That being said, she eventually became went on to become an underground railroad conductor, freeing many other enslaved people in the process. I'd like to assume that she kept her pan of hot water with her to help them too as well. Next up, we got Miss Annie Lee Cooper. First and foremost, you thought Polly Jackson was a G? Annie Lee Cooper is just as much of a G. All right, so anyways, she registered to vote, but, well, she was trying to register to vote, better said. But while in line trying to register to vote, what happened was the sheriff popped up after a few hours of her being in line and told her to leave the line, that she can't register to vote. Now, it wasn't just that. There's more that leads up to the climax of this story. See, that sheriff then started prodding her in the back of the neck with those little billy club things, little police sticks, and it was annoying, you know. So, Miss Annie Lee Cooper did what any sane G would do, Turned around and gave him that quick one to the jaw. Knocked him so hard, dude fell on the floor. I mean, slept. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, uh, Annalie Cooper was taken to jail, but then shortly after her going to jail, uh, one, she not only beat the case because she was there legal, whatever, yada, yada. She then got the right to vote following the Voting Rights Act of 65. Now, it gets better. Not only did she flat out humiliate that sheriff, but that sheriff went on to be voted out of office and later arrested for conspiring to smuggle drugs into the US. I'm just saying karma is karma and karma is delicious. Last but not least, I'm sure y'all haven't heard of Miss Molly Williams. All right, Molly Williams was the first, counted first female firefighter in the entirety of the US. Now. Here's where her story gets really good. So, Miss Molly Williams. One time, when there was a blizzard in New York where she was working in the firehouse, she was the only person in the firehouse as every other guy was out. Now, like I said, it's a blizzard, there's a fire, she's the only firefighter here. What did she do? She went out and fought that mother truck in fire. She carried, she pulled, or pushed, whatever the phrase is, the, the engine herself. Through the snow. I'll put a picture so you know exactly what this looks like. It's not it's not an easy job. And she did this in a dress and an apron, people. A dress and an apron. Come on. You can't tell me that's not phenomenal. In a blizzard. So yeah, anyways. Hope y'all guys enjoyed. Uh, nice little quick video for you. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, drop a comment. I'm sorry, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Appreciate you. Thank you.